What happened to Dorothy Arnold? On the morning of December 12, 1910, 24-year-old New York socialite Dorothy Arnold went out shopping. She roamed Fifth Avenue for a bit before running into a friend named Gladys King. Upon leaving, King noted that Arnold planned to walk through Central Park. King was the last person to see Dorothy Arnold. By that evening, the Arnold family realized something was wrong. They turned to help uh, for help from their lawyer, John Keith, trying to keep the matter private. Keith advised them to hire Pinkerton detectives to look for Dorothy's disappearance discreetly. Investigators checked out Arnold's usual spots. They also visited local hospitals, jails, morgues, and even insane asylums, but found no trace of her. Detectives also considered the possibility that she had eloped with a secret lover in Europe. Pinkerton detectives went overseas but found nothing. The Arnolds knew and disapproved of Dorothy's lover, George Griscom Jr. He was vacationing with his family in Florence when Dorothy disappeared. The Arnolds went to see him but found no trace of their daughter. Reluctantly, after six weeks with no leads, the family alerted the police. Even more reluctantly, they agreed to tell the public and offer a $1,000 reward. Two ransom notes were dismissed as hoaxes, so uh, so was a postcard signed by Dorothy. Some believe that, it, <clears throat> that she had committed suicide either because her forbidden affair with Griscom or her failed writing career. Her father thought that she had been killed in Central Park and dumped in the water reservoir. A convict claimed that he got paid to get rid of the body, matching Arnold's description. A popular uh, theory opined that Dorothy had died getting an illegal abortion and her body had been cremated. There were plenty of tips regarding Arnold's disappearance, but none of them had ever panned out.